Alright, hey everyone, how you guys doing? In this video, I'll be doing a review and comparison of the new Retina MacBook versus the MacBook Air, which also happens to be new. Both are 2015 editions. The specs are on your screen. And I'll be doing specifically iMovie tests and Adobe Lightroom. Uh, and hopefully it'll give you an idea of whether to go for the new Retina MacBook or the MacBook AR. So before we dig down into comparisons, design wise both are pretty much the same other than this one appears to be more lighter and thinner as you can see on your screen. Obviously the MacBook is known as the Retina MacBook because it has a Retina screen if you haven't already figured it out. And the Retina MacBook also has a different keyboard layout and different feel to it. Personally, I do not like it and I've got a feeling come revision too, they will be going back on it. And one significant difference is the fact that it only has one port, USB-C versus what the MacBook Air has, which is USB 3 and Thunderbolt 2 ports. I would appreciate if you can visit iGear.com and check it out. You don't have to buy anything. You'll be as awesome if you buy something versus if you just like or tweet, share, Facebook, the products, that would be fantastic. And yes, I know the question on your mind is, will these laptops fit in one of the garments? It won't just fit into any one. It would fit into all three, which is the hoodie, the jacket, and the vest. So what we're gonna do in this first test is import the same number of files uh, at the same time. 15 JPEG files and they're all high res, uh, 20 megs or so each pretty much. And here we go. Let's see which one does it first. And as you can see the MacBook Air was slightly faster. Um, again those cores, uh, dual core i5 versus the Intel Core i M uh, chipsets. Uh, so let's go ahead and try and do some filters with these. Let's take a look at some filters and how about the green filter and as you can see the MacBook Air uh, did indeed win. Let's try infrared infrared and uh, one again. Let's give cold tone a try. And again, noticeably, the MacBook Air again won. Let's move on to some video tests. So we're in iMovie and let's import the same file, which is about 74 MB. And that was relatively straightforward. And what we're going to now do is share this file in 1080. Again, the purpose is to do it at the same time so you get a realistic idea of if you are going to be getting this for power usage what it will be like so let's just save it on the desktop and desktop here and it's saying it's roughly 126 MB save and let's see what happens if anything are we in theatre? It says creating movie. And so far, yeah, there we go. The MacBook Air has won, and now the Retina MacBook has done it. So, yes, there are few differences speed wise. The MacBook Air, if you're going to be getting it for Photoshop, Illustrator, or any kind of power use, then go ahead with this. The only reason you should be getting one of this is if money grows on your backyard. Hope you liked the video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.